Newly licensed teens just love cruising around with their newfound sense of freedom, especially in the summertime. But did you know that it's actually one of the most dangerous times of the year, actually the most dangerous time of the year for teen driving? So here to share some important statistics on the topic is Tim Hollister, teen safety advocate and author. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. Great to have you with us here today. Certainly your story, uh, what you've been through is something that no parent should ever have to go through. So if you could tell us a little bit about your experience and how you arrived uh, at the idea for this book, which you've put out. My son Reed, uh, 17 years old, the driver died in a one car crash on an interstate highway in Connecticut in 2006. Uh, several months later, Connecticut had back to back multiple fatality teen driver crashes, seven teens in six weeks. At that point, our governor appointed a task force to overhaul our teen driver laws and appointed me as a parent. Serving on that task force, I learned, first of all, that I had not been a well-informed uh, parent when I was supervising Reed's driving, but more importantly, I learned that most of the literature that's available to parents doesn't explain what parents can do day by day to work with their teens to avoid the very predictable situations that most often lead to teen driver crashes. So in 2009, I started a blog for parents, and in 2013, I turned that into my book, uh, Not So Fast, Parenting Your Teen Through the Dangers of Driving, which uh, I'm pleased to say has won several national public service awards. Certainly, uh, it is tragic that so it's, it's difficult that something this tragic would serve as the catalyst for this book and for this endeavor, but nevertheless, you're here and you're doing such a remarkable drive. Let's talk a remarkable job, excuse me. Let's talk about some of the ways that parents really can approach talking to their teens. Is there a specific mindset that they should have going into this type of discussion? I, I advocate parents acting like tra air traffic controllers, treating driving like flying. Every single time your new driver, say for the first year or so of licensing, gets behind the wheel, go through a safety checklist and prepare a flight plan. And then use monitoring technology in order to track compliance with that flight plan. An example of that is Hum by Verizon, which gives you, uh, it's a plug-in module that goes under the dashboard and sends, app, uh, sends data to an app on a parent's phone. Things like vehicle location and speed. Boundary alerts, also known as geofences, where you can figure out whether the teen has arrived or departed from a particular location. Maximum speed alerts, emergency crash, uh, notification and context. Exactly the type of facts the parents need to know to monitor compliance with the flight plan. And it's so great that there's a book out there which really encapsulates all of these tips. Talk about the response to this book and how people have really been taking to it. Well, I, I, parents find it uh, surprising uh, because I, I tells them things that they sort of may have known subconsciously but but not really and they didn't know how to put it into action. So I, 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 fa I found a receptive audience of the book because parents are looking for this type of information. It is so valuable and so needed and we can't thank you enough for joining us this morning Tim and sharing your story. You